Hey guys, Jonathan Wizard here for JM Sports 100 and the JM Sports Show. How is it going? I'm here to preview the action for week 6 in the 2015 NFL season. And in this video, we are going to take a look at the matchup between the Miami Dolphins and the Tennessee Titans. The Miami Dolphins come into this game 1-3 and three and are 1-1 one and one on the road. The Tennessee Titans come into this game 1-3 and three as well. They are 0-2 at home. Of course, the big story coming into this game is the new regime in Miami, the regime of Dan Campbell. Joel Philbin is out, no surprise there, after the loss in London that they had to the New York Jets and the struggling start that this Miami team has had, especially uh, with Ryan Tannehill, who is a capable quarterback, and the lackluster defensive play with all the money that the Dolphins put into defense in the offseason. Dan Campbell, almost to me, and I know we haven't seen him coach yet, but even just in the first practice having the the Miami Dolphins do an Oklahoma drill, I think is is a good sign already. I know it's, it's early. Uh, I think that for a... This is a good situation as far as who they're playing in Dan Campbell's first game, granted, yeah, it's on the roll, but it's against an inconsistent Tennessee Titans football team. Uh, I do like, too, that the Miami Dolphins did, some of the Miami Dolphin players did take accountability this week and say, yeah, the Dan Campbell thing is great, but if we don't perform, it's not going to mean anything. It's on us. We've got to perform better. I think that's a good time for the Dolphins as well. The Joel Philbin thing just wasn't working. I feel like Dan Campbell is going to be the better fit. I don't know, you know, if he's going to be the Dolphins coach, obviously, down the line after the season. But I think he will at least fit on the interim basis for now. Uh, they're going up against a Tennessee Titans team that has a very capable quarterback, as we've seen in Marcus Mariota, although Mariota has struggled a little bit. He's got uh, three interceptions in his last couple of games, so things haven't necessarily uh, gone the best for him. Last time the Dolphins and the Titans played, the Titans rode the Dolphins. I don't think that's going to be the case here in this game. Um, I think... Uh, Another thing too, um, a couple a couple of tough things. The Dolphins may not have Cameron Wake. It, it isn't known yet whether or not they're going to have him. Same thing with Brent Grimes. They're both dealing with a couple of injuries. But I think that one thing we have to keep in mind here is something that we see a lot. <coughs> excuse me, with um, coaches. And when new coaches come in, teams kind of rally around that. One, uh, because they feel like they have something that they need to play for. Because obviously coaches can make a whirlwind of changes. Plus, it's a new culture. They want to show that they want to show it's a new culture. They want to believe it's a new culture. Meanwhile, this Tennessee Titans team, I I think they're really good. I I do. I shouldn't say really good. I think they're good. I think they're competitive. I think Mariota is the quarterback of the future. But I think that they're they're facing the Dolphins at a bad time. The Dolphins have their backs against the wall more so than the Titans. Yeah, the Titans, you know, their records are identical. Nobody expects the Titans to make a lot of noise this year. Everybody expects the Dolphins to make a lot of noise this year after all the money that they spent. And because they haven't, there's obviously been a whole lot of talking. Dolphins playing for a new coach, playing with their backs against the wall. I expect, I, I don't know that this game is... It could be close. I don't think the Dolphins are going to blow the Titans out, but I do have the Miami Dolphins getting a win in their first game under new head coach Dan Campbell. We went 8-6 and six last week. We are 0-1 on the week this week as we did have the... Uh, Tennessee, we have, sorry, the Tennessee Titans. Yeah, we had them winning last night, too. We had the Falcons beating the Saints. They did not. The Saints won 31-21 and knocked the Saints out of the undefeated ranks. So we are 45-33 and 33 on the year 8-14-4-77-3. Lifetime. Don't forget to like the Jam Sports Show page on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. Links, as always, will be down in the description. That is going to do it for me. I am Jonathan Mosep for Jam Sports 100 and the Jam Sports Show. And I will see you guys later.